All right, so you got through your two problems. Let's see how you did here. Uh, we'll start with the purple one here, okay? Uh, the purple one drawn here, we've got our y-intercept, which is right there. It crosses the y-axis at negative 1. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to put my, oop, I'm going to put minus 1. I got rid of my x there, too. There we go. Minus 1 is the y-intercept. Now we just needed the slope. We needed to find some places where it actually crosses. Okay, um, I would say that a good place to look, let's see where it exactly crosses, maybe there, but I know here for sure, because that's where it crosses that y-axis. And then what about, um, I'm going to say, how about right here? That looks like the closest spot that it's going to cross at. Now I just need to get my equation by finding the slope, getting that part right there. Uh, for this one right here, and my line is pretty close here, I'm, I'm kind of noticing this when I'm looking at it here, is that's pretty close to a full point. I think it's supposed to be this one right here. So if you went with this one, your answer is going to be a little bit different. Um, but I'm going to go with this one. I think this is where it crosses at. So my slope is going to be, let's see, this one's negative because it's bottom left to top excuse me, bottom right to top left, so I know my slope is going to be negative. Uh, now if I count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 up, uh, and then I'm going to go over 1. So here is my slope. When I put it in here, I'm going to simplify it down to just negative 6, and that's it. So I will put that in there. And there's my equation for this line. Negative 6 times x with negative 6 being the slope, take away 1. And we can prove it with a t-chart. There's not really a lot of proof to prove to this one because I don't really have enough points on here to figure it out. Uh, if I had a bigger graph, of course, this would extend down and we'd have many points that we could hit. Now, let's do the other one. Let's do the red line. And I will get my equation started over here. y equals mx plus b slope y-intercept, and y-intercept is clearly defined right here. Okay, That's where it crosses the y-axis, not the x. We don't care where it crosses the x. We want it where it's going to actually cross the y, and it crosses the y at negative 4. So I'm going to erase the y-intercept, and it's no longer going to be plus because it crossed at negative 4. So I will put negative 4 right here. Uh, there is my... Geez. I am not very good at drawing these numbers today. So we've got negative 4, not much better. All right, now we need the slope. Uh, so the slope, we need a couple of points here. That looks like a pretty good one to use. Um, let's see here, something else that looks pretty good. I would say this one would be a good one too. That one would have worked. Uh, just understand, you could have chose different points for your slope, um, but it should come out to be the same thing. As long as you picked a point, it's exactly on the line that crosses exactly with one of these boxes here. So we'll, I'll just keep it like this. We'll keep what we have here. Um, let's see here. So from here, this is going to be a positive slope. I know that because it's going from bottom left to top right. That's the positive direction. So let's see. So we're only up one, one two. We're up two. So that's going to be two up. And then I need my how many over? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, two twelfths. I'd put that here, but I know I can reduce this. Let's divide by two and get one sixth. One sixth is going to be my slope. I will put it in there as one sixth. X, so one sixth, so whatever X was, we should always be able to multiply by one sixth and take away four, and it should get us whatever Y was, uh, like in our T chart if I pick some points here. Now, let me do the slope one more way here just to kind of show you. Let's say instead of doing the point that I did, I decided to do a different one that was on the line. Um, maybe I decided to go with the one that was actually on the y-intercept right there. So in this case, it would be up 1. And then I would be, so that would be my first number, so that would be 1. And then it's how many over we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So we came up with the same thing. So we're putting all these equations together. 
Hopefully you understand y-intercept. Hopefully you understand slope and how it fits in the equation. Um, after we do all the stuff for this part, uh, the next part involves starting with the equation and you drawing the line from the equation without needing a t-chart or anything like that. So that will be where we go next. Uh, if you have any questions, as always, please make sure you let me know.